Hello guys, I hope you are doing good. In this video, we will solve a problem where we are asked to toggle the function arguments. So basically, there is a function called toggle that will take n number of arguments and this toggle function will return a function. So when we invoke that return function, what it will do is basically it will toggle the arguments in the next sequence. So for example, if you see over here, the toggle function, the second toggle function has two arguments on and off. So when we invoke the return function, which is stored in the on off variable. So when we invoke it first, it's printed on. When we are invoking it on second time, it's printing off. Similarly, when we go on third time, it's again printing on. So if we change the sequence to one, two and three. So basically it will print one, two, three. And again, if we are invoking it fourth time, so here one will be printed. So it will start over again. In case there is only one argument, it will keep on printing that one argument only. And if there are no argument, so nothing will be printed. So let's see how we can implement this. This is a simple problem based on the closure technique. So we have already seen what is closure. I'll add the link for that in the description so you can watch it. So let's start implementing the toggle function. So I'm creating a function over here. And because we have to toggle the arguments, right? So the easiest way for me to do that is uh, by collecting the arguments as an array so that I can move from the index. So I can move through the index and then return the next element going forward. So what I'll do is I'll use the rest operator and then what rest operator does is it will collect all the arguments in the form of array and then return it. Alternate, alternatively, you can use the arguments keyword which is available inside the function and then you can convert it to the array. But this is the simplest way. So I'm using this. And the base case is we have to return a function from this function. So let's create that too. And now because I have to track right every time this return function is invoked, I have to just return one element and the count the in index should increment so it should move to the next element after the call so for that purpose i'm creating a variable let's call it index and now here i'll check if there is any argument or not because if there are no argument passed we don't have to do anything so if there is any argument passed so that means arguments has something so argument length will be greater than zero, which is a truthy value. So the condition will evaluate. And after that, inside this, what we can do is we can directly print. So index plus plus. Now index plus plus is a post increment operator. What it does is so it will return the value zero initially. And after returning the value, it will increment the index to one. So that's what we want. We want to start from zero and then we want to move forward. Now we have to handle the edge case like whenever we have reached to the end or the last element of the argument, we have to start from the beginning. So we want to reset the index. In that case, we'll add a check if index is greater than or equal to args.length, then reset it. So index becomes zero. Now if you see, so let me print the output again. I'll rerun this. So for the first case, it's printing hello twice. And for the second case, you see it's going from one, two, three, and one again. Let's comment hello out and then add one more element over here. Let's say four and then see it again. So if you see, I've invoked the on of four times. That's why it's going from zero, oh, sorry, one, two, three, and four. If I change it and add a fifth call, so it should start from one again. So if you see one, two, three, four, and one. Now the final case where, what if we don't pass any argument? So here, let's remove everything. And if nothing is passed, sorry, I have to comment the for one because it's a const declaration. 
so if nothing is passed nothing is getting printed and let's say if we pass something like hello which is one argument so it will print hello five times hello 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 so that's it a simple question and a clever use of closure over here so in the next problem we'll see uh, so in the next video we'll see another problem thank you thank you for your time